Welcome to the cinematic world of All Quiet on the Western Front, a 1930 film that transported audiences into the brutal realities of World War I without embellishment or glorification. This poignant piece, adapted from Erich Maria Remarque's novel, delves deep into the experiences of soldiers grappling with the horrors of war. Within this stirring narrative, the ensemble cast brings forth an array of compelling characters. Each role holds its own significance, prompting one to wonder which portrayal resonated most with you. Moreover, this film has a way of etching itself into the memories of those who watch it. Do you have a treasured moment associated with this powerful movie? Whether it's a personal connection to the story or a specific scene that lingered in your mind, we'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. To set the stage, here are intriguing snippets about this remarkable production. It was one of the earliest sound films to tackle war themes, and its impact reverberated through generations, sparking discussions on the human cost of conflict. So, share your thoughts, your favorite character, or your cherished memory related to this unforgettable cinematic experience. Your stories enrich the tapestry of this timeless narrative. Tell us your tales and memories in the comments below. Future director George Cukor, known for his stage expertise, worked as a dialogue coach on the film. He aimed to soften the regional accents of the actors, making the characters more relatable to American audiences. This move highlighted the universality of the narrative, allowing broader identification with the characters' experiences on the battlefield. Cukor's role as a dialogue coach subtly influenced the film's accessibility, bridging the gap between the actors' dialect and the audience's understanding. This behind-the-scenes effort reflects the filmmaker's dedication to ensuring the film resonated deeply with viewers, transcending linguistic barriers to convey the harrowing realities of war. Huker's involvement underscores the collaborative efforts that went into making this cinematic portrayal both authentic and emotionally impactful, reaching audiences far beyond its original context. Nazi disruptions during screenings in Germany marked a tumultuous reception for the film. Their vehement opposition stemmed from the country's post-war wounds, leading to an outright ban on the movie. The aftermath saw restricted German showings until 1956, while neighboring countries witnessed packed theaters, with specialized transportation arranged for German audiences. This uproar underscores the movie's impactful portrayal of World War as stark realities. Louis Walheim's notable performance as Cat, tragically cut short by his sudden demise from stomach cancer in 1931, added depth to the film. His anticipated role in Louis Milestone's subsequent project remained unfulfilled. The film's opening classroom scene, adorned with Greek and Latin phrases, hinted at deeper themes echoing throughout the narrative. These events and elements encapsulate the turbulent reception and profound contributions tied to this cinematic milestone. All quiet on the Western Front ignited a firestorm of debate that surged beyond the confines of cinema screens. Its portrayal of the German experience during the war sparked intense reactions worldwide. Germany's decision to ban the film, led by the Nazi Minister of the Interior, underscored the discomfort it elicited within the nation. The depiction of German soldiers as vulnerable and haunted by the horrors of war clashed fiercely with the desired image of heroism propagated by the Nazi regime. However, the controversy didn't stop at Germany's borders. In Poland, a different set of criticisms emerged, surprisingly focusing on the film's alleged sympathetic leanings toward the German perspective. This unexpected backlash led to its censorship, revealing the tangled web of perceptions that surrounded this cinematic masterpiece. The film's impact transcended mere entertainment. It became a mirror reflecting the divergent sentiments and historical wounds of nations. The polarized reactions it elicited underlined the intricacies of its portrayal and its profound effect on the diverse tapestry of audiences. It was a testament to the power of storytelling to evoke emotions, challenge perceptions, and, ultimately, shape cultural narratives. This enduring legacy is a testament to the enduring power of art to stir discourse and reflection, transcending temporal boundaries. Lewis Milestone's dedication to authenticity during the film's production was remarkable. In fact, the chief sanitary inspector of Orange County, California, interrupted filming to inspect the trenches built for the movie, emphasizing Milestone's attention to detail. Interestingly, for the lead role, Douglas Fairbanks Jr., 
and even the book's author, Erich Maria Remarque, were considered candidates. Additionally, the renowned director Fred Zinnemann, a future two-time Oscar winner, began his Hollywood career with minor roles in the film as a German soldier and a French ambulance driver, although he was later dismissed for impudence. These insights shed light on the meticulousness and interesting casting considerations behind this iconic film, revealing the lesser known yet fascinating aspects of its creation. The absence of background music in All Quiet on the Western Front was a deliberate choice by director Lewis Milestone. He aimed to maintain the gravity of the subject matter, avoiding any distraction from the film's serious portrayal of war. Interestingly, some theaters independently added music, unfamiliar with films delivered without a score. Milestone's dedication to authenticity extended to the film's production, with even the chief sanitary inspector interrupting filming to inspect the meticulously crafted trenches. Notably, the film touches on adult themes, subtly addressing matters like unmarried sex and nudity. As a consequence, the Hayes Code, enforced in later years, aimed to prevent such content. The film, subject to multiple re-releases, faced censorship, and in 1980, Universal restored cutscenes under Milestone's guidance. These details shed light on the director's meticulous approach, the challenges faced during production, and the film's enduring impact on cinematic history. Banned in Italy until 1956, the 1930 film All Quiet on the Western Front faced more than just screening challenges. Director Lewis Milestone went to great lengths to capture the authenticity of World War I, even enlisting German Army veterans living in Los Angeles to authenticate uniforms and equipment. Many of them became part of the cast, with former soldiers leading scenes like laying communication wire in the trenches. Milestone's dedication to realism extended beyond the set, with the chief sanitary inspector interrupting filming in Orange County to inspect meticulously crafted trenches. Interestingly, the complete text of the novel wasn't available in the USA until 1975. Milestone's commitment to authenticity also involved efforts to ensure the accuracy of the German soldiers' experiences, reflecting the harrowing realities of war. The impact of the film reached far beyond the screen, stirring debates and facing bans in various countries. It became a mirror reflecting divergent sentiments and historical wounds, challenging perceptions and shaping cultural narratives. The controversies surrounding its portrayal highlighted the intricate nature of storytelling, transcending temporal boundaries and leaving an enduring legacy. The film's enduring power to evoke emotions and stir discourse is a testament to the meticulous approach of its director, Lewis Milestone, and the fascinating behind-the-scenes efforts that contributed to this cinematic masterpiece. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey through the trenches and battlefields, let's linger a moment in the realm of introspection. All quiet on the Western Front, a celluloid time capsule from an era laden with echoes of conflict has the power to unearth dormant reflections within each of us. As the credits roll, consider the indelible imprints this masterpiece has left on the canvas of your thoughts. Did the poignant narratives of camaraderie and loss strike a chord? Perhaps the haunting echoes of war's brutality stirred a deeper contemplation about the fragile tapestry of human existence. In the quiet aftermath of this cinematic odyssey, I invite you to share the fragments of your mind that resonate with this classic tale. Your memories and reflections add hues to the collective tapestry of our shared experience, weaving a narrative that transcends time and space. Whether you were captivated by the raw vulnerability of the characters or found solace in the unsettling silence that followed the last frame, your connection to all quiet on the Western Front is a unique thread in the vast fabric of cinematic appreciation. Thank you for embarking on this exploration of the human spirit with me. Your time and musings are treasured, and I eagerly await the diverse tales that sprout from the fertile soil of your memories. Until our narratives converge again, keep the spirit of reflection alive in your cinematic endeavors. Farewell, kindred soul, and may your reflections be as vivid as the stories we've shared.